Mark Regev is a senior advisor to the Israeli Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu. Uh, Mr Regev, thank you for joining us on News Air. Um, what is Israel prepared to do, uh, given those dire warnings uh, about the catastrophic, and I'm, I'm quoting, catastrophic levels of hunger that the Gazans are facing? So we've already taken steps. In the first week of uh, this conflict, uh, when we were started our response to Hamas's terrible attack upon our country and the murder of our people, uh, we took a decision in the security cabinet that there would be no limitations whatsoever on the import into Gaza of, of, of food, of uh, medicine and of water. And uh, that was one of our first decisions. More recently, just last week, because we understood that the crossing from Egypt was unfortunately uh, overworked and there wasn't the capability there, we agreed for the first time that uh, uh, the crossing of Kerem Shalom, the Israeli crossing, could also be used to facilitate the import into Gaza of foodstuffs, water, uh, shelters, so forth, medicine, of course. And, and our policy is that there are no limitations whatsoever on that sort of material entering the Gaza Strip. Well, you say no no limitations whatsoever. I mean, the, the system clearly is not working. And one of the reasons is, I mean, as, as we're learning at the UN Security Council, is that the monitoring mechanisms that you are insisting upon is uh, uh, holding everything up. I mean, the, the truth is you you are the occupying power in Gaza. You have the you have the power to determine what goes on there. I understand that you're prosecuting this war against Hamas because of the massacres of October the 7th. But you, the Prime Minister whom you advise has said today, and he's repeated, we will not stop until we eliminate Hamas and release all our hostages. In the meantime, the, the reality is you've got UN agencies warning of famine in Gaza. I'm aware of that. You raised a number of points. I'll deal with them all uh, with your permission. On the issue of, of the foodstuffs and, and, and other material going into Gaza, I, I want to tell you that trucks that Israel has already authorized and also checked, because unfortunately we have to check trucks going in uh, for fear that Hamas will try to sneak in weapons and explosives and so forth. But trucks that we have already authorized and checked were still being held up in southern Gaza, nothing to do with Israel at all. Uh, uh, um, once again, from our point of view, there are no limitations on things going in, on this sort of material aid going into the people of Gaza on the contrary. We want to help facilitate that. And uh, 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 this raised questions, is it possible that Hamas is causing problems with the distribution of the food? We know they've been stealing uh, you know, there have been photographs, it's clear, they've been stealing some of it for their own fighters to make sure that they're fed and taking it away from the people of Gaza. But is it possible that they're also creating logistic issues because they understand that their lifeline is to artificially create a humanitarian crisis so as there'll be more pressure on Israel to stop our campaign against them? Because once again, how else can one explain the trucks that have been authorized by Israel and already checked by Israel are still nevertheless being held up in the south? You said also in your question, you said, but Israel is the occupying power. I reject that. Israel left Gaza in 2005. Yeah. We I mean, left, it, it all is, our forces left. Un understood. But I mean, it is regarded by the United Nations as the occupying power because of the way in which it controls access into and out of Gaza. Can I we, just... control, uh, Tim, we control our own borders as every country controls their own borders. But to say that Israel is occupying, I know that some in the UN say so. But it really is ludicrous. Hamas controls Gaza. That's that's the reason we're in this crisis. To say that Israel controls Gaza is to ignore reality. Mark Regev, we'll have to leave it there. But thank you very much indeed for joining us. Mark Regev, uh, senior advisor to the Israeli Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu.